Hello, today I'm making a little video for the Pokemon Ocean Region Roleplay um, Showdown system, how to use it. First, when you come into Showdown, you're going to open up in the lobby, and you're going to go up to the top right corner and click this Change Name button. This is kind of important because this is how everyone's going to find you on the uh, system. And you'll get this little uh, username thing, you just change your name to whatever works for you, whatever you need and you press enter or choose name so I am Jolt Speed I just like to go by what I go by on Kaya now <clears throat> you're going to go oh right you know no, no. Um, you're going to go to the team builder and you're going to click the new team button because you're not gonna have those teams up there you're gonna click add Pokemon for me in the role play I have a Ponyard at the second a Ponyard named Samurai. They're going to come up in the little bottom list down there when you first open it up. You can name it what it is. Now you're going to click the details option, which is right here, right next to the nickname, right next to the uh, Pokemon sprite. And the level should not ever be 100. Well, not yet at all. Be 100. Make it level 5. And if it's a male or female, select that. Otherwise, it's going to be a random gender all the time. It, it should not ever be a shiny. Not yet. The happiness, you can make whatever. The, you can make the happiness whatever you want. And since I just started out, my uh, Ponyard is only going to know Scratch. Make sure you look it up and make sure you know what attacks your Pokemon has at the start at level 5. Its ability needs to stay the default ability because it is not a special Pokemon, it is your starter. Um, for items at the second, I if you say that you picked an Orenberry in the forest, I guess you could have an Orenberry, but that is as much as we are going to allow at the second. Your stats will be your EV and IV stats along with the uh, nature. Now for me, I'm going to make the nature admin because that's what nature I want it to have for now and later. And I suggest once you choose a nature that you stick with the nature, even in the roleplay. Make sure your Pokemon kind of has that nature in the roleplay as well. Anyways, now it's attack and <clears throat> special attack or change, whatever. Now all you need to do is go to entire team, change the name up here at the top. I'm going to name it Cole roleplay because for the roleplay and I'm going to save. Now the team shows up here and I can go to the lobby to battle my opponent. Make sure you know your opponent's name, ask them what their name is on Gaia. I'm going to be battling Mina Mimoto, which is Josh. Anyways, before you actually enter the battle, I suggest you type down here in the little chat bar at the bottom, I suggest you type slash avatar. Why'd I do that? Because by typing slash avatar, it'll show you how to change your avatar along with all the stuff for your avatar, like all the avatar sprites. For now, I'm going to go with slash avatar 151, which is green, blue, or Gary, whichever you prefer. That's what it, that's who I used to battle like with. <coughs> now you're going to select challenge to challenge your opponent. It's going to come up with the format and everything for your thing uh, for whatever you need. Okay, right. You are going to start out on random battle. You can obviously tell that you do not want to start on random battle as this right here shows up as team random team. It's going to give you a random team out of all the Pokemon in the game, and you're not going. It's not what we need for the role play. You're going to select because we might have a couple Ubers in each team. We don't want to go overboard with that, but we are going to make the format Ubers and the team. You want to be, pay close attention to this if you've already made a team that isn't the role plays team, and you're going to select your role play team. And then you're going to select Make Challenge. And now you're going to wait for your opponent to accept the challenge, which they should be able to accept right away and such. I will pause until... As you can see, the battle has started up and such, and I continue the battle. This is Josh's character, and I actually changed my avatar unlike him. He just kind of kept it that, but I'm pretty sure that works. Anyways, you're going to have your two Pokemon at the start. You'll have more later. You'll definitely have more later. Before you click the Choose Lead button to choose your Pokemon, you're going to wait until something pops up here saying, So-and-so joined the battle. Like, you can even type down here if you really want to, whatever. But you have to wait until um, a moderator joins your battle to watch. Make sure you notify them. Anyways, I'm going to select Samurai as my lead. And he's going to select Fury. And I obviously have a major type of disadvantage. So I'm most likely going to lose. And you also have a switch bar right below the uh, attack bar. So you can switch out whenever you need. There are no items in battle. 
or anything like that. So um, you're just going to have to deal with no items. Anyways, I've lost, obviously. It was bound to happen. Anyways, now you, um, the moderator will select share replay and get the uh, replay battle or whatever and post it to the role play. Now you can select leave this battle and then X out of it. The little X button right there. <clears throat> now you can go right back to the role play and leave this open if you really want to or you can close it. During the battle, you will have sound. The sound can be really annoying if you don't want to hear the uh, basic music for the battles. You can actually choose to um, go with any music you want. You can go on the profiles and select your opponent's um, battle theme, or you can go with the uh, default battle theme that we've posted in the uh, roleplay already. It should be on the image posted with the... Um, battle notification and such like that in the role play. You can click this little button up here to mute and unmute everything in Showdown. Anyways, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you all have a nice time in the uh, role play, and I'll talk to you later.